Well, in case you're wondering where we are, as I make one of these, another one of these videos, this is a track that Eugene ran on, and Alex ran on, and Sam ran on. It's five high school tracks, beautiful facility. And I'm back, June 20th, 2010. Hung out with uh, Michael Warren for a while at his house, and we're talking about how fast the years have gone by. Out on this field, Eugene tried to play football, however, he got his knee banged up out here. I remember that day he got hurt, and I was like, nobody helped him. It's kind of hot. And back over here is Fife High School, the common area, and different places. Not a real big school. But almost every time I come back here, I always come end up coming back down here to the track because it was a place of great joy and a lot of fun with our families. Wilma and I and the kids, all three of them, ran track and Alex ran and Jonathan ran and Lori was out here and Phil was here and had a lot of fun. But you know, life has a way of tricking you up. And this is kind of tough as I walk out here. Man, when I ran on this track too, I had a lot of fun. The life has a way of tripping you up. What Michael and I lamented is that our families in the 10 years since have been affected in a lot of ways. And it makes you wonder sometimes what is going on exactly? How is it that life can, at one, for a couple of years be so idyllic and and things are going well and everybody's happy, you're having a good time, strong church going, and ten years later the families are just battling, trying to stay afloat. We had a loss, Eugene of course, and this tree down here, that green tree right in front is a memory tree that the principal planted. It's growing big and strong like Eugene. And all the families, uh, the Hills had their issues, the Morkades had issues, the Warrens had issues, some bigger than others, some real big. Um, losing Eugene, I don't want to rate these things, but losing Eugene affected all of us and affects me and Wilma to this day. So being out here walking on the track, while it's a good thing, Makes me kind of sad at the same time, as I often talk to my camera. I make videos that are a lot of fun sometimes, but this one, it's a little tough to do. I mean, next month is July, it'll mark 10 years since we came to Washington State and joined up with our friends the Hills and Look how big that tree is. Wow. It's about, oh, it's got to be 10 feet tall. Joined up with our, our friends, the Hills, and then met a myriad of friends and folks or whatever. I know you guys get tired of me talking to the camera, but sorry about that. I'm standing here on the track at Fife High School in Milton, and Eugene's tree is behind me. Anybody watching this, our friends, whoever knows, our family knows how tough it's been for us losing Eugene. And the same time, I want to celebrate because, as one of my friends pointed out to me, that that losing him, Christ gained somebody, and and Christ gained a lot more people uh, because of his example. Of, of he was such a strong Christian, had such a strong sense of humor, uh, was so bright and cheery all the time. Uh, and just kept things going all the time. So, and we know for a fact that many have been saved because he was called to to join Christ. And even though I look away from the camera for a minute and look around, doesn't make it any easier. And this weekend we celebrated Sarah and Alex's wedding. Uh, Alex Hill was Eugene's best friend. We watched a videotape of those guys 10 years ago having fun playing, actually 20 years ago having fun playing in the backyard in Germany. 
and now you know I'm even Air Force retired, Phil's retired, and things have moved on. So Lori was there and Phil was there and we were reading each other's minds but we never said it. The unspoken thing was is that we sure wish Eugene was here and I know Wilma feels the same way. He'd have been a hoot at the party and, and had a good time. But with a focus on the Lord and Christ, we just keep moving on, man. Every day is a good day and you try to do the best you can. But it doesn't make it any easier when you lose a, a guy like him. It, just phenomenal enough for me on camera but that's his tree behind me and and this is a feel we had a lot of fun on got here in July of 2010 23 months later I mean 21 months later we lost his son And things are never the same, but you got to keep going on. So this weekend's a happy one. It is. Six days from now, he would have been 26 years old. It would have been June 26. So, what you got to do, get my ugly mug off of here. Whoever watches this, what you got to do is get the most out of life, man. Any day is not promised to you. If somebody said, hey, I'm 17 years old. I might live for a long time. I will go, I'll start laughing at them. I'll go, oh, yeah. Nothing's ever promised to you, dude. But your hope in Christ is forever. And ever. And ever. <sighs> And ever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is Mr. Talker Boy to the camera. Phasing out. We sure had a lot of fun. You know what? We're going to keep having fun till the day is done. That tree's like 10 feet tall, man. 12 feet tall, whatever, I don't know. Another time, another place. Bye-bye.